Hi everyone, hope you're okay and welcome back to my German Girl in London series once again. Today's video is about the five easiest jobs you can get in London and I think these jobs are especially suitable for people, young people who come to London with no degree and who want to either get started in the job market or who only want to stay here for a limited time, say maybe six months, a year, one and a half years, two years and just want to get a quick job that will make money and they're not too fussed about it being the dream job. Obviously this is all based on my own experiences but I hope it will be helpful to you and I do think that these jobs are especially easy to get and do pay an okay amount. So without further ado let's get into the video. So the first job that's really easy to get in London is call centre. Call centre jobs here are really sort of unloved by the English people I feel and when I first came to London call centre jobs were the number one jobs that I was called about because I had my CV up on like recruitment agency websites and stuff and I got offered so many call centre jobs and some of them were really well paid I mean some of them were like 26k 27k and I was only 20 and I obviously don't have a university degree or anything like that so for me that was obviously a lot of money but my problem is I have like telephone anxiety and I would never ever be able to do a job where I do phone calls and the other downside is there is a lot of call centre jobs that are obviously kind of a bit dodgy because I'm sure that's like this in any country but some call centre jobs require you to sort of pester customers and call people that don't want to be called so do watch out for those. There's a difference between inward and outward calls. So there's call centers that only take calls. A lot of them are call centers for big companies. So I'm just going to name a random company like IKEA. So they have a call center where people call when there is something missing from their order or from what they bought. And then it's your job to sort it out basically. So it's not the most glamorous job. But there is differences obviously because there is different call centers and different stages and I know a few people that did call center jobs for years and they were quite happy with it because most of them are really flexible and you can do like night shifts, you can leave early and that sort of stuff. So for some people it's really convenient and if you don't have a problem with doing a lot of phone calls then it might be perfect for you and they pay quite well most of the time. Sorry about any hammering noises, I think my neighbours are moving in today, so we just have to work with that. Um, so yeah, call centre jobs can be good, can be bad, just be careful and research the company that is offering your job, but yeah, that's really easy to get. The second job is kind of similar to the call centre job, but it's a bit more variety in the sense that it could be very email based and that is any customer service role jobs. Customer service is very similar to call centre that you'll be working for a company most likely and get complaints, emails of customers that are unsatisfied with products or services and you'll be the person to deal with that. Customer service can also be based in the actual shop and you could be on the desk, like at a service desk. So it's obviously, again, not the most glamorous job and you'll be dealing with complaints, which is not something that everyone is good at and not everyone is able to cope with. But if you are a really tough person and you don't mind just being showered at all day, then this could be a good opportunity too. And obviously, again, there is differences. There is some customer service roles that aren't as demanding and, than others. Um, these jobs are also paid fairly well. I think they are between 19 to 23K, anything like that. And they're really, really easy to get because again, no one really wants to do them and they don't require any qualifications usually. I mean, they're really happy if you have customer service experience already, but from what I've experienced, they're quite happy to just take you on as well and just teach you. So that's another really easy one to get. Number three, I already talked about in a video before. I'll link it here and below. But the third one is bar jobs or working in a pub. Um, London is full of bars and pubs. There's so, 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 so many and they're always hiring. There'll always be a place in London that is looking for staff. You could work as a waitress or as a barmaid or mixologist even. You could learn all those things. Um, um, they don't always pay that well though, so you definitely get more in a restaurant than you would get in a pub. 
but it is worth checking it out and it's one of those jobs you can get within an hour. If you walk around London for an hour and walk into any pub or any bar you see and ask for a job, I think there's a 99% chance you'll get a job. So if you're really desperate for work, get a bar job because easiest thing to get um, and you can just usually quit right away if you don't like it. So I wouldn't stress it too much. So that's number three. Number four I actually don't have that much experience with, but it's being a nanny. Now, especially if you're bilingual, um, which I am, for example, um, you have really good chances to get a nanny job because a lot of families here really want their kids to grow up with two languages. So that's really helpful. Um, being a nanny does require you to have some qualifications. Usually you have to show that you have worked with children before. You can get that kind of qualification here as well, I think, but I don't, 100% know how it works but there's a lot of websites where you can find families that are looking for nannies sometimes they'll live in sometimes they'll live out so it depends on what you're looking for but from what I hear um, it's paying really 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 well I have a few friends who've done it for years or even just casually do it on the weekends and they make a load of money like that and because London people are so busy they always need someone to look after the children so this is another great thing so if you are planning on coming to London and you still have some months time maybe get a qualification in child like caring I don't know exactly how it works like work in a um, kindergarten or something for a few months and then get a reference and then maybe you could be a nanny in London I mean that's probably one of the better jobs and again it's really well paid usually because parents here like to pay for services especially if you're bilingual and number five is market research this is similar again to call center but it's usually not necessarily in a call center these jobs are usually project based and temporary it'll be a company wanting to know specific data and they'll hire a few people for a few weeks and you'll do calls to people finding out certain things it obviously depends or you'll take calls um, but yeah, it's not, not necessarily a call centre, it's more like a quick temp job. That, and these are going around all the time. I've been asked to do these kinds of jobs so, so, so many times and they don't require any um, experience or anything like that. And again, if you are bilingual, that's really helpful because sometimes you have to call customers in other countries or you get calls from customers from other countries. So they'll definitely prefer you if you can speak another language. And yeah, these pay, well, they pay average, I think. It really depends on the project and the company. Um, and yeah, these are five jobs in London that are really, really easy to get. I think the two easiest to get are definitely call center and bar jobs. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I hope this video helped you. Bye. The roughest area being Upton Park. Uh, feel free to Google it, it's not great. And I have to say, I did feel a bit weird walking around there when it was dark and I didn't feel quite as safe.